guys, thanks for tuning back into Michigan Great Outdoors. Today we're going to do a product review on the Spothog Keaton release aid made by Spothog Archery. It's a very cool release aid, very unique. It combines the elements of, of a finger index tr trigger release as well as this T handle so you could draw back, put your middle finger under here and shoot it similar to a T handle. So it's very unique in that sense. You can kind of shoot it both ways. So let's get stuck in. We'll take a look at it and see what we think. You know, one thing I like to do whenever I do product reviews is kind of do my first impressions. What do I think? It's a spot hog, so I know it's made very well. It's made in the U.S. It feels really nice in your hand. Like, it, it's built solid. It is a little weird to get used to. It's kind of flopping around. And, you know, I have bigger hands, so for me, it's kind of, you got to, it's, it's just a little different. It's, it's a little different than I'm used to. Normally, I'm using that uh, wise guy, and it's always just right there, and I can grab it. This one, you kind of got to you kind of got to grab it a little bit. Um, but once it's in your hand, it feels really nice. It feels comfortable. You can uh, activate the trigger very easily. This handle here, it kind of moves. So this handle moves a little bit. So you can put your thumb on top your three fingers in it and, and it feels not bad you know you pull back on the bow I already pulled it back a couple times on the bow and it feels pretty comfortable the wrist strap here is the same as the spot hog wise guy series and then it's got this nylon strap here so all in all it's not it doesn't feel bad it's not a bad feeling package it's just I don't know that's kind of weird to me but we'll have to see we'll have to take it out of the bow range and see how it feels see how it shoots and maybe, you know, that's something you can just kind of get used to. I like the colors. It's black. It's got the kind of like a dull finish gold. The, tr the trigger here seems very similar to the Spot Hog Wise Guy. It's nice and big, which I like. I, li I like that big trigger. I don't know if you guys can hear that. When you're moving it forward, it's a little, it's a little noisy when you move it forward which is not ideal but it's not the end of the world a lot of adjustment here in the nylon which is very nice it looks like you can move this way out if you want the t-handle part of it you know shooting it as a t-handle it kind of feels pretty nice in my hand so you draw it back and then you twist this back into position and then you got to get that finger out here and my finger can really wrap around here, so I think if I squeeze my shoulder blades together, you could kind of shoot it as a back tension, which is nice. Here's the Spot Hog Wise guy. The trigger is actually much longer. It is quite a bit longer. I have to get a micrometer on there to see, but it, it is quite a bit longer than the Spot Hog Wise guy trigger, which I kind of like. That's, that's a nice feature. I like having that bigger trigger because I got these huge giant fingers, so that, that's, a, that's a nice feature, Spot Hog. One of the things that Spot Hog advertised on this release aid is this, this handle here. So this handle is designed so you can put your fingers in there, so when you're drawing back, you're using more of your whole hand to absorb that weight, and it's not all on your wrist. And it's kind of hard to visualize if you haven't felt what that feels like, to kind of pull more with a hand. It really, it feels like it takes some of the, the, the weight off the string. And how I can compare that is for years I used to shoot uh, this Win Free Flight release and it goes on just like so and it's got this big hand paddle and one of the things that they advertise is you know feeling 10 to 15 percent less draw weight and I know for a fact that it works because I shot this release aid for like 16 years and I feel the very similar properties in this one using this handle here I can definitely feel when I'm pulling back it feels like I'm pulling less weight which is good for a lot of reasons it's good for people that can't pull back a lot of weight maybe you're shooting 45 50 pounds you want to get up a little higher you know get some speed out of your arrow so you can maybe go up to 60 pounds and it's not it doesn't feel as heavy it's great for kids kids needing to shoot more weight it's great for female shooters if you have a shoulder injury that can be you know the ticket to getting you back in the game as far as being able to pull your bow back so that's a very cool feature 
it's something I'm very used to, like I said, because I've been shooting this wind free flight release for years. You know, Spot Hog is really known for their triggers and how light they are and how crisp and smooth and zero travel. And this wind free flight release, it, it's not that. The trigger subpar. Um, that's a, that's the highest rating I can give this trigger. Is it's it's very bland. Where this is nice and hot, goes off quick, very smooth, no travel. And it combines that element of this handle. So drawing back, you're feeling less poundage on your shoulder. So with every product review, there's things that you're not gonna like. You know, nothing can be perfect. Everything can be improved upon. For me, that noise loading, it's a, it's a, here, right here. It's a small noise, but for me, in the hunting situation, I like to everything to be silent. So that's kind of a bummer, a little bit. It's not the end of the world. And then this. I think I, I would have a lot of issues in a hunting situation, being in a tree, you know, trying to run a camera arm, and this thing flopping all over the place. If it was more rigid, like this release here, I think I would really like this a lot. But because of that, this is probably my main beef with this release is just this flopping around. And when it is flopping around and I got my bow and I'm trying to get ready to shoot, it's it, sometimes it takes a, a second or so to kind of get it in your hand, if that, if that makes sense. It's, you grab it and it's not like quick. Where this thing, this one here is just, it's just always there. It's always right there ready to go, which is something that's important to me. So really it's a release I wanted to try. My buddy let me borrow it. It's really cool. I think I would really have to practice with it a lot more to really decide if this is something I'd want to use in the woods while hunting. If I had to compare between the two, I would definitely pick this one just because I feel way more comfortable with it, but I've, I've practiced a lot. I've, I've shot in thousands of arrows out of this one. And I've only shot maybe 100 to 200 arrows out of this one so so if, if i had to pick between the two i would definitely pick this one here the wise guy but the keaton is definitely a release that i think you should check out especially if you're looking to get that you know feeling of pulling less weight if you have a shoulder injury if you're a kid you're getting you know just getting into archery female shooters if you need to be able to to pull more weight uh, because of you know regulations in your state certain poundage requirements or, or whatever I think it's it's worth looking at and it's the price points right around 120 off like Lancaster I even saw it on Amazon for a hundred but you never know with Amazon what you're getting you know for me this is kind of like the reason why probably I don't like it the most some people it, it might not matter to them it's still a solid release and I think it can help you I think it's worth checking out well, thanks for tuning in to Michigan Great Outdoors. If you like product reviews like this, if you like the page, please subscribe. Please check the little bell notification so you get alerted when we post a new video. We're trying to post one to two videos a week. Give the thumbs up if you like it. If not, that's fine too. And we'll see you next time.